Darvish. What are you seeing in you Darvish and what do you expect tonight? What I love about you, Darvish, it's, it's similar almost to what I would say and what I did say about Zach Wheeler. He can beat you in different ways. But realistically, this is a guy who's towards the back end of his career. He doesn't have the strikeout numbers that he did early in his career. So what he does is he commands the zone. He comes right at you. He doesn't walk, guys. And he forces you to make swing decisions. And he can tease the zone. He, gets, he has a very high chase rate. Just his swing and miss rate isn't what it used to be. So realistically, he's become a guy. And when you're talking about facing a Mets team, that's 67 mile an hour curveball, by the way. That is just disgusting if you can do that and throw a guy's timing off that way. But what he can do is play with you in so many different ways. And realistically, that's what he's going to have to do against this Dodger lineup. And we're just going to show some quick at bats against the top part of that lineup because these are the guys that we talk about when we talk about this Dodger lineup. Those top four, they are maybe the best top four in baseball. And he can come at you again in different ways. He knows your strengths. A guy like Mookie Betts, it's all about keeping him off balance because he can hit anything, but you have to mix it up and go back and forth. Trey Turner is more of a guy you can spin it against. That is his weakness. And so you're going to see a lot of that against Trey Turner tonight. And there you saw it four in a row. Spin, 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 gets the out. Freddie is not a guy that you attack the same way ever. Okay, he was a little late on the fastball. I'm going to go right back to it. Here he's pumping 96, so he's feeling really good this start. But to go to that breaking ball the way he did, uh, knowing that Freddie still hadn't made the adjustment to get out front, that's just veteran pitching. Uh, Will Smith, uh, this guy's been so good all year. Again, another guy doesn't strike out, Mitch. you got to attack the zone. Uh, he walks. He, he will take his walks, so you know you have to get ahead of him. He knew when he got that fastball there, 1-1, and he got it called for a strike and Will didn't pull the trigger, I'm going to keep going to that fastball because he's not looking for the heater in this scenario. So to me, it's about the intelligence out there on the mound, making those adjustments during the at-bats, seeing what the hitter's trying to do, and then adjusting from there. And realistically, uh, that comes with experience. It comes with repetitions, seeing these guys over and over and over again. But for you, he has all those things. He has the weapons, and then he can mess with your timing. It, it's, it's a tough ask for this Dodger lineup. And as you saw earlier, Matt Yala pointed out, he's pitched well against this lineup for the most part this season. I didn't realize until looking at the, the, the whole clip there, the, the hesitation used I mean, all the time by Darvish. It's like constant. And it, yeah, and yeah. sometimes he'll come at you a little bit quicker, and it just makes you – it's that mm -hmm. Nestor Cortez. Um, Stroman does it sometimes. Just makes you think a little bit more. Even Clayton Kershaw and Kenley Jansen do things like that with their motion, where as a hitter, it's just hard to time them.